So this is probably the smallest package I've ever seen, but supposedly there's an entire cold air intake in here, so I guess we'll find out in a second. All right, well, welcome back to the FDS Garage, guys. And today we're gonna be start installing that cold air intake that you guys just saw. And I'm not sure how much performance that's supposed to add for it being so small, but I guess we'll find out what's going on. I can't start my car, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's take a look and see what's in here because for some reason I feel like that is the shortest pipe I've ever seen before for any intake. And this should be the air filter. Okay, so actually, oh wow, they actually, the air filter is pretty good size. I kind of thought it would be a lot smaller considering the pipe itself is just, it's smaller than my hand, so I'm not sure why they included such a small uh, air pipe, but whatever. Right. So again, I'm not too sure if this is going to improve the performance so much, but it should make it sound a little bit cooler. Actually, now that I think of that, we should probably do a sound comparison and a 0 to 60 test. take this piece off which uh, I don't know just how long it works. Come here real quick. There is a dead wasp in the alternator. <laughs> That's um yummy. Yeah yeah very okay well <laughs> why'd you have this so close to my face? <laughs> okay well now that um that's out I guess we'll figure out where all the parts go. You can point the camera towards me. Thank you. <laughs> My cameraman's not, he's new. He's new to the job. I just hired him. Give him a break. So now we're gonna start looking for parts and figure out where they go because it doesn't come with any instructions because I only bought it for 70 bucks on Amazon, so. So it looks like the way they machined it is, is they just kinda got some tubing, cut it apart and then took like a a file or something and just kind of <laughs> went over the edges. This is super cheap, but we're just still gonna rock with it anyway, so. I'm not, I haven't installed a cold air in it, intake before, but I, I don't think, I don't think that's how it's supposed to go unless it's supposed to go like that, which might make more sense. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Let's get it installed. So, my cameraman just took this apart. Look how much dust is just laying on the ground right here. This was all clogging up the air system. That's ridiculous. That's what you get for getting a car that sat for two years. That's disgusting. Okay, so now that uh, he got that piece on. Well, no, we need to put this on that. Wait, how? <laughs> It hold. <laughs> this goes on top of here. Just give me a second, Jesus Christ, bro. 
Okay. <clears throat> would like to go into the intake. Okay. And then the other one is like a clamp. Oh. You could be correct. You could be. But are you? What, am I thinking or am I like... Do you think you're correct? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Actually, maybe. <laughs> There's no way. Oh my god. That's how do this. Okay, well. So maybe, I feel like that's not right. Okay, so this is probably the worst intake you could buy off of Amazon, but... <laughs> Somehow we got this to stay on somewhat. I, I don't know why this rotates on whatever. But it didn't come with any of the hose clamps that it said it would. And everything is just so loosely fit that it doesn't make any sense. I, I hope you realize that needs a hose clamp right there if it's gonna work. It doesn't have one. So, it doesn't even look good either. Like this is, <laughs> we might have to take a trip to AutoZone and go get a hose clamp to see if we can make this look a slight bit better. But while it's on, let's try to do a test, uh, a noise test. <laughs> That sounds amazing. I gotta give credit where credit is due. It does sound pretty good, but what's the performance gonna be like? We're gonna go find that out right now. All right, so we got it installed. We're gonna take it to AutoZone so we can get more hose clamps to eliminate this piece right here. Um, and this is flimsy. It doesn't even come with any mounting brackets to hold it up. Because of that, that's why it's flimsy. See, it's meant to move. I just, I. I just said it's supposed to come with, you know, mounting clips right here so it can hold wow. this up. <laughs> what kind of alien ass noise was that? Anyway, we're going to go take this out to AutoZone and we're also going to do a 0 to 60 test to see if it got any faster. It definitely got louder, like wow. Impressively louder. But we're going to take it up to AutoZone so we can get this looking a lot better. Damn, those wheels are dirty. All right, this is going to be the second 0 to 60 here. Uh, let's put this on 0.5. Boom. Okay, maybe not. We're gonna see how this sounds now. All right, let's complete stop. Three, two, one. We have arrived at the zone of autos and we're gonna buy hose clamps. All right, so we went to Lowe's to go get some hose clamps, and now we can finally put this on and secure it properly. Like that, like so. Then we'll tighten this guy down. And for some reason, I am an idiot. And I brought a socket, but I didn't bring the socket wrench. So now I'm gonna have to figure out what I have to use to tighten the screw down. What do we have? I don't. So good thing my cameraman has a wallet multi-tool and it's not working. <laughs> the thought I had. But hey, maybe, maybe like if this intake wasn't so stupid, it would, you know, would have been better. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> you would be right. Not left, but right. Okay, so second mechanic is going to take over here. <laughs> and he's going to go ahead and try to tighten that down with a wallet. No oh, shit. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we finally figured out something and it looks kind of jank, but it works. This is FDS Garage. So we don't care if it's jank or jerry rigged. We just get it done. So now we're gonna do a couple flybys to let you know how this sounds. And yeah. All right, well, that's a cold air intake for a 2005 BMW 325XI. And it kind of sucks to install because like I said, it was only 60 bucks. If you guys want me to put the link, I'll put it down there anyway. And if you guys want to buy it, you can. You just got to do a little bit of jerry rigging to get it to work properly. But it sounds good. It seems like it performs a little bit better and it goes a little bit faster, but you guys will know the zero to 60 times. So other than that, that's FDS Garage, peacing out.